ho ho ho! Welcome back to another Trend Reviews with Marcus Films and today finally <coughs> Finally, we have the two-pack from Avengers Infinity War, uh, Iron Man Mark 15 and the long-awaited Iron Spider because my Ar Iron Spider was broken and was not that very accurate to the movie. So fin finally, we have what we needed to start our Infinity War Part 6 stop motion and for the rest of the of the series. So here we have it And this is an amazing day because I just realized that the channel is almost reaching the 100,000 subscribers Oh my goodness guys that that is unbelievable guys I love you all 3,000 and this news are so magnificent i like it a lot so yeah i will be planning to uh, to make a special 100,000 subscribers thank you guys so much for that and as well another announcement that i will be interviewed by mustafa most uh, the creator i will link his youtube channel down in on the description below so you can so, so you can be able to watch the that interview on his YouTube channel so yeah let's go ahead and, and open this package because this two pack has a ton of accessories well well a lot of accessories <laughs> here we have them Iron Man Mark 50 and Iron Spider and they sure do have a lot of stuff good stuff oh my goodness you can see Iron Man here he looks fantastic and as well for Iron Spider he looks way much better than the other version and as well for Iron Man uh, we're gonna have a closer look to those in just a moment this is gonna be a very long video so here we go Let's start off first with Iron Man and of course Iron Man comes with these extra hands that Hasbro for, for some reason decided to remove the articulations from, for these type of hands I don't know why and also comes with this repulsive blaster which I have like a million of those already <laughs> and oh my goodness they finally add this shield this was the shield that Iron Man uses to deflect Thanos power and it looks really cool the painting i love the red painting i love the red painting and of course the, the red because uh, I, I know that iron man has a different color on the movie that they did it on for the action figure you can see in the back of the shield it has more details but it doesn't have more painting so that's where you place iron man arm so looking great and as well comes with these finally uh, these arm cannons which looks fantastic it uh, doesn't have that many color painting painted on it but it looks it definitely looks very cool and uh, comes with two of these so you can attach them to the arms so they look fantastic I love these a lot and yeah uh, those these are like uh, plastic a soft kind of plastic and of course Iron Man comes with this finally they add this uh, effect this weapon to Iron Man and something that it's kind of weird is this plastic transparent plastic thingy kind of makes makes it make it looks like a pair of wings <laughs> and they should add like a, just a, a plastic line instead of a whole bunch of plastic like that but yeah anyways looks fantastic anyways and uh, you can detach this uh, it's kind of, it's very easy and you can attach them back with uh, with not a problem so yeah uh, these are this thing are, are very well uh, painted as well doesn't have that many detailed painting on it just red oh my goodness I love the red and the silver metallic as well looking great as well and yeah I love all of these uh, accessories for this Iron Man they uh, Iron Man needed more of these accessories so I don't know why they waited so long to 
add all of these goodies to this character. So let's go ahead and review Iron Man. And you can tell already that the painting, the color is just different and it's so much better now I'm going to compare with the other Iron Man and you're gonna see what I'm talking about but yeah uh, on the movie this Iron Man has like a red wine type color red <laughs> the red on the movie was not a very bright orange red color it was this this that this type of color so I think the change of the color for this figure it makes this figure looks so much better than the other one uh, doesn't have anything new however however uh, has the same articulation the same details the same painting everything is the same well except for that hole is that for you to to put on the peg for the uh, his weapon but yeah I, everything is the same and the only different big different here is the painting and, and I know that many people out there didn't like this Iron Man figure but for my own opinion I think this is the best Iron Man figure from the MCU uh, it has the best articulations and now it has uh, the, the painting very very much accurate painting and yeah, one of the things I didn't like about this Iron Man is the head sculpting kind of looks weird. <laughs> and as well for the articulation as well. It has the same articulation as the other Iron Man and he has the same articulation as as the normal good Marvel legend. has uh, very well articulated legs, which uh, some of the Iron Man legs from previous figures didn't have that good articulated legs now here with his shield oh my goodness looks fantastic and I think the shield should be a little bit more bigger I can't remember but yeah it does add weight to the figure so it's going to kind of fall off on its own <laughs> but yeah if you find the proper uh, way to pose him he's going to stand firmly and it's gonna look sick so yeah this shield looks really cool i cannot wait to use this in on my stop motion this is how you attach the shield very easy and you can detach it very easy as well and boom were you looking for this of course yes i was looking for this these arm cannons are the bomb it's so cool and i don't know why hasbro waited so long to do this and uh, iron man it's also lacking a lot of, of accessories and weapons that he uses in the movie so yeah this is only these are the only things that we can get from Hasbro let's attach these wings type thingy <laughs> these are not wings are just there so of of course this guy looks now fantastic and yes of course as well add more weight to the figure so you're gonna have to find a very good position in order for you to pose him and stand firmly so he cannot fall off but this is the complete picture that we saw on avengers infinity war so really nice really cool here's a comparison comparison with the old action figure Iron Man and this is what I'm talking about the new Iron Man figure looks much better just because the color the painting it, it's more accurate accurate to the uh, to the movie the old one looks more uh, red Torino green I mean green <laughs> red color or I don't know orange is color I don't know that's but uh, the, the painting the change of the painting makes a lot of difference you can tell right there and um, well yeah like I said uh, it has the same articulation the same everything that the, the painted on the details are the same uh, I wish they they added more painted details on the new figure but it's the same everything uh, it's just the same so yeah i i kind of don't like the the feats though <laughs> here's a comparison with captain america with spider-man far from home with a builder figure thanos with black series star wars kylo ren 
two of DC Multiverse Mattel and with the Mafex and with the SH figures. Now let's go to reviews Iron Iron Spider Man or Iron Spider. And this guy looks fantastic. Also comes with a couple of accessories. Of course, comes with a brand new Tom Holland Peter Parker head sculpting, which looks fantastic. Looks very much like Tom Holland, uh, and also looks like the that actor from Stranger Things. I don't know. Oh my goodness! Look at those details on his eyes. I love that uh, printing technology that they're using now. And uh, for the mechanical arms, uh, they are articulated. In total, it has three point of articulations. So you can move them around, pause those around in really cool positions. And uh, the plastic of this, uh, the material plastic is a very soft rubber plastic material. The color as well is very nice. And now let's go ahead and, and review this figure. And this figure is the same figure except for this. Let's talk about the, the changes that they've made on this figure. Uh, I found three changes on this figure. It's definitely the painting, the color, the painting looks more, I want to say metallic because it's supposed to look metallic. The, the suit's supposed to be uh, made out of metal, I think. And this plastic uh, thing is, I don't know how to call them, the old uh, Spider-Man that we got last year i believe did he have those so those are a big changes and of course this thing on his back where you can attach the mechanical arms doesn't have the other one uh you cannot remove it or maybe you can but you might as well break it so that's something i'm not gonna do because these toys are very expensive so i'm not gonna mess up my toy so those were the only changes that they made to this figure those plastic gauntlet thingies on well they're not gauntlet it's just and the painting of course yeah they made it so much better now and the thing it has in the back so you can uh, attach the metal uh, mechanical arms so it looks fantastic so the articulation are the same as, as the other uh, iron spider as and, and as any other spider-man action figure so yeah uh, the articulation appears smooth a little bit uh, rough right there the legs are fully articulated as well, so this is you're gonna have so much fun on posing this guy around. And if you make stop motion, you're gonna have so much fun on posing this guy. I found a problem though, uh, the when you try to to move the articulation for his hand, that plastic kind of gets on the way, so that's something uh, kind of bothers me. Now with the Peter Parker head, it looks fantastic, it definitely fit on this figure and it will fit on the other figure, but kinda looks funny, I don't know, looks like he has long neck, <laughs> I don't know why, but it does look uh, weird. Now let's attach his mechanical arms, uh, the way to do it is to add a little bit of pressure on it because it has uh, those pegs where you can attach it and deattach it so just like this and here we have it with all of force mechanical arms looking great this is the completed picture of the iron spider from avengers infinity war this guy looks fantastic oh my goodness however i will get the mafex iron spider just because it has better articulations and okay this is how it looks from the behind this is how he's going to look with all of his mechanical arms and yeah all this has articulation like i said so you can pose him around play with it make really cool stop motion animations now you cannot oh uh, you cannot just holding the figure by standing on the mechanical arms uh, that's not going to work because the arms are 
are very smooth plastic. Uh, the, the arms are not heavy though, so it's not going to go into balances of the figure. Well, don't, not that much. But yeah, they're not uh, that very heavy. Uh, I think they needed more painting though, like a little bit of red. So here's a comparison with both of Peter Parker, Tom Holland heads. And the new one looks uh, smaller than the new one. I don't know. What do you think, guys? The older uh, head looks younger than the new one. So yeah, but they both look amazing. And this is a reason why it don't fit. The older one doesn't fit on the Iron Spider because the hole is smaller than the new one. So this is why you cannot attach the the old Tom Holland on this. Spider-Man body. Here's a comparison with the older Iron Spider and yeah they share the same body mold, the same color except for the the, the new one has an, has an enhancement on the painting of course and those plastic and the plastic on the back. So yeah they are the same action figure they just make it better and that plastic right there also as well but yeah they are the same figures they didn't make any changes these were this are this is the, the problem that i had with my old spider figure the neck is broken and i shoot infinity war part 5 like this the head keeps falling off i mean the head kept falling off and i had to to add a little bit of clay because the articulation were also very very loose so these were the problem that I had so thank thank god that I have this new Iron Spider here's a comparison with Captain America and the new Iron Man with Spider-Man Far From Home with also with Spider-Man Homecoming with the comic book version of Spider-Man with build a figure Thanos with the SSG Guards and man Kylo Ren from Black Series, from Mattel, Jazam! From Mafex, Batman. And if you were wondering if you can fit the Peter Parker head onto the Far From Home Spider-Man body, you definitely can. And it looks the same as the Iron Spider. Looks great though, so. <laughs> What do you think about these action figures guys? They look fantastic. I love them and I cannot wait to show you what can I do with these figures. So thank you guys for watching. See you guys on the next one.